Buddy Guy. Buddy Guy. And ladies and gentlemen, I've been around the world from the plantation to the concrete jungle of Chicago. When I came to Chicago, most blues musicians, including Muddy Waters, they all were sitting in chairs playing. And I said, now, I can't play like them, but I think I can outdo them. I'm going to stand up and jump off the stage and get some attention, and it worked. That right there changed the course of music to this day. Well, I'm blessed for that because I didn't know that many people would, would uh, look at me and feel that way because they had so many great guitar players that I've known. Uh, one or two of us still living, most of them passed on. His influence is so bad that people don't even realize it. Jimmy and Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan and myself, we learned to, oh, he opened another frequency, another door. The chess people came back to me after the British exploded and told me, say, I'm going to turn you loose now. You can do what you want. I won a Grammy. Well, damn right I got the blues, which was my first one. And <laughs> I think I got eight or nine now. You know, the blues is not being played and heard on your big radio stations anymore. Nowadays, the young man, I just was being interviewed for, before I started talking to you. My son didn't know who I was as a musician until he turned 21. That's when you're old enough to go to a blues club and hear somebody. And the first thing he said when he saw me, he said, Dad, I ain't know you could do that. And he's been a blues player ever since.